So good morning on this All Hallows Eve. My name is Derek Jones, and I've been a member of St. Thomas Church since 2017. I've also been on the vestry for the past 10 months, and recently I took on the responsibility to be the vestry liaison for the stewardship committee. To be honest with you, I took that responsibility with a bit of trepidation. As I had visions of me standing at this very lectern, giving a heartfelt appeal on the importance of stewardship and why it is one of the most important responsibilities as congregants of this wonderful community. You may be wondering why the trepidation. Well, the idea of appealing to our community to give collective talents and financial resources gave me pause because I don't want to sound like I'm making a quote unquote sales pitch. So here I am, not making a sales pitch, but rather making the case for you to make a financial commitment to our community for the 2022 year, and more importantly, making the case for you to commit your time and talents as our church is in great need for all of us to serve. Let's talk a bit about the, the financial commitment of stewardship. In my many years being associated with different church communities, I have memories of being in the late fall in which the Reverend would make an appeal to the community on the importance of proportional giving. They would reference usually Mark 12, 41, 44, the widow's might or the widow's offering. And Mark tells us in this passage that Jesus watched in the temple as many rich people were giving money to the temple treasury in large amounts. Then, walking in the temple, a poor widow gave two coins, which is all she had. That passage would then be used to show that church giving is an important part of discipleship, whether you are rich or poor, and that sacrifice is also part of financial giving. This passage would then be used to make the case for proportional giving. I've also seen resources from that very proportional giving used in ways that weren't aligned to my values in spirit of what Jesus was conveying in Mark 12, 41, and 44. But here at St. Thomas, I can honestly say that the financial resources derived from our collective giving is in alignment with the true meaning of stewardship. The proportional giving aspect of stewardship is not us as a congregation giving our money to the church, but rather we as a collective purposefully redistributing God's resources. That purposeful redistribution of God's resources has allowed us to take care of this church so that the church can use those same resources for the benefit of this congregation and the environs of Mamaroneck. What does the proportional redistribution of God's resources look like here at St. Thomas. When we pull into the parking lot on Sunday, we are all met with beautiful, well-kept grounds. When we enter the sanctuary, depending on the time of year, we are either met with cool air in the summer, or like today, warm air on a beautiful fall day. We then sit in comfortable, soft, and clean pews, and then our ears are treated to the sounds of a state-of-the-art sound system accompanied by the, some of the best music from Matthew in the most talented and gifted choir this side of Westchester. Yeah, amen. <laughs> in addition, we, are, we also have a technical infrastructure that supports hybrid worship. And last and certainly not least, we are blessed with an interim rector that teaches us impactful lessons through the example of Jesus Christ every Sunday, and more importantly, leads this congregation with dignity, grace, integrity, and direction. During normal times, our Paris Hall has been used for fellowship after service, and now it's in a condition to be used year-round as a rental space. During the most recent storm, we saw that same Paris Hall serve a community in need 
and serve as an anchor for the collective redistribution of God's resources. All of those aforementioned examples wouldn't be possible without our financial and talent commitments. We are truly blessed to have a congregation that takes on the responsibility of the financial commitment of stewardship. We need you to continue to fulfill that obligation for the rest of this calendar year. And I'm also making the appeal to you to make the commitment for 2022, to proportionately and purposefully redistribute the resources that God has allowed you to manage. Please make sure that you take this financial commitment card and indicate your pledge. You can also go on our website and click on the Realm system and indicate your pledge information. And in addition, you can also use the QR code that will be on the back of the pledge card and scan it on your phone to indicate your commitment for the upcoming year. Let's give with the spirit of abundance so that the church can take care of its financial obligations that make everything I spoke about possible. As you all know, another aspect of stewardship is the distribution of skills, talents, and gifts that God has given you. We could use those skills, talents, and gifts. We also can continue so that we all can continue to fulfill our baptismal promises through stewardship. Here are a couple of examples. To fulfill our promise to continue in the apostles' teaching and in fellowship, in the breaking of the bread and in prayers, we can join the altar guild, or we can be an usher, we can be a lector, we can be an intercessor, we can be a crucifer, we can join the adult choir or the children's choir, and you could also sign up for AV Tech. In order to pro proclaim by word and example the good news of God and Christ, you can teach Sunday school, you can chaperone youth activities, you can lead adult formation, and you can write press releases for local news sources and have media contacts share events with. To fulfill our commitment to strive for justice and peace among all people, and respect the dignity of every human being, we can all join the outreach committee and be a member. You can attend the Coalition for Community Zoom meetings as a representative from St. Thomas' Church. You can participate in a one-day volunteer event as part of the St. Thomas group. And, and also, if you wanted to find ways that you could help our physical assets of buildings and finances, you could be on the, you could be on the Buildings and Grounds Committee member, and really important, you could serve on the Stewardship Committee to help with the annual pledge drive. <laughs> Just making that case. Um, and then included in that commitment to serve on that committee is the ongoing nurturing and ongoing engagement of the congregation beyond the annual pledge drive. This is an ongoing commitment. And you could also speak for two minutes about why I pledged during Sunday announcements. You could also serve on the finance committee, which oversees expenses and investments, and you could also serve as the church treasurer. There are so many ways to get involved. So in summary, St. Thomas needs you to get involved and we need you to continue to support our community. We have some challenges ahead, but I know we will continue to respond to those challenges. Please make sure that you indicate your financial commitment as well as take the time to fill out the talent and, sk and skills questionnaire, which will be in back of the church. I wanna thank you for this time this morning. I hope you will all give again with the spirit of abundance May God continue to bless this wonderful congregation.